look at dosa I hope you can hear the crunch friends please watch this video till the end for all the bonus recipes kitchen it's been many days I was craving for dosa specifically made in Chauta Bazar Surat During my last trip, we three sisters, it was our plan um, to go just to eat dosa in Chota Bazaar. So today I thought of sharing this recipe with you all. I don't intend to offense any region or cuisine uh, by naming this recipe Masala Dosa or Mysore Masala Dosa. So I will just say Chota Bazaar Dosa. Mysore Masala Dosa at Chota Bazaar is served with Pao bhaji kind, sabji, bhaji, um, sambar, and coconut chutney. But personally, when I prepare this for my family, I do not even prepare any kind of sambar or chutney, um, just dosa and that bhaji, masala bhaji. It's just good enough um, to satisfy the crew. So the first step um, for this recipe is to make dosa better. I'm sure by this time you might have your own way of preparing um, dosa. In over the years, I have perfected my way of preparing dosa better. So let me show you how I make dosa better. To prepare dosa better, here I have gathered the ingredients. Take three cups of long grain rice, chawal, one cup of ura dal, half cup of chana dal, optional but I always prefer to add, Sometimes I add half cup of chana dal or sometimes one cup of chana dal. I have noticed that when I add more chana dal in dosa batter, um, it gives me crispy and a little darker dosa. So it really depends on how you want your dosa to be. One tablespoon fenugreek seeds, methi dana. Wash everything together really well until water runs clear. I also add poha known as beaten rice. But I add before I'm ready to grind the batter. Cover and let the ingredients soak for about 4 to 6 hours. When ready to grind batter, wash and soak poha with very little amount of water and you will get the fluffy poha like this. After about 6 to 8 hours of soaking, rice and dal will almost get double as you can see. Drain out all the water used to soak the dals and rice and use fresh water to grind all the ingredients. Mix soaked poha when ready to grind. Into the blender cup add soaked ingredients. Add water and grind to a smooth paste. Take out the ground paste into the mixing bowl. Repeat the same until all the ingredients are finished. Dosa batter is ready. Cover and let the batter ferment for about 6 to 8 hours or an overnight. The batter has fermented well. I usually allow batter to ferment overnight. The fermented batter feels light and fluffy. You will see tiny tiny bubbles like this as well. The perfect batter to prepare dosa now. I prefer to add salt before making dosa once the batter has fermented really well. Once dosa batter is perfectly fermented, you can refrigerate for up to a week or freeze for up to three months. Now a few tips here to share that always, always store your dosa batter in bigger container. Um, the reason is that it may even prove 
in the refrigerator as well, trust me. So it's a good idea to store your dosa batter in larger container. So here I have dosa batter ready and now I'm going to show you how to prepare bhaji for this chota bazaar dosa recipe. Take half cup of dry green peas, mutter, wash green peas really well and soak for about 4 hours. I'm going to use pressure cooker to boil soaked dry green peas and potato together. Into the pressure cooker pot, take water, about 1 cup, place the soaked green peas, add pinch of turmeric, haldi, salt to taste, give it a quick stir. I'm going to boil aloo, potato at the same time as well. Peel and wash the potato, cut into half if it's too big and place inside the bowl. So our pot in pot pressure cooker is ready. Cover. So we sell on. Turn the stove on a medium to high heat and here four whistles. Alright, so I heard five whistles and I allowed pressure cooker to cool down naturally and it's time to open. Open carefully. As you can see, perfectly boiled potato and dry mutter, green peas. Put this on a side. Heat up the pan. Turn on the stove on a medium to high heat. Take about a tablespoon of oil. When the oil is hot, out of the spice box, add cumin seeds, jeera, onion, salt to taste, curry leaves, limro, nipo limro. When the onion starts getting slightly brown, add tomato, add ginger garlic paste, adrak or lasan, turmeric powder, haldi, brown coriander cumin, jania jeera powder. Now cook till tomatoes are mushy completely soft cover to cook tomatoes faster let's check tomato all right tomatoes have turned mushy as you can see kind of a gravy now at this time ready to add few more spices here i have red chili powder Garam masala powder. Mm, now it looks great and the aroma is so strong here. Now ready to add potato. Just mush the potato and add in. And ready to add green peas. Add a little bit more water. Water can be added as needed later even. Carefully mash the potatoes. Now for this recipe there are few chunks of potatoes. It's not like completely pao bhaji where you just keep on mushing until everything is like kind of a stew. So this is how I want to keep and simmer. Now this curry for about 4 to 5 minutes, cover and let it simmer. Let's check the masala bhaji, alright, I'm going to turn off the stove. As you can see it is basically kind of a 
uh, pao bhaji masala, pao bhaji curry. So that's the reason I said that if you don't prepare even sambar or chutney, you can easily serve this dosa quickly by preparing this uh, masala bhaji. Add butter, garnish with finely chopped coriander leaves, dhania, and look at this bhaji, looks yummy. Take it off of the stove and put it on the side. And now I'm going to heat up dosa tawa. On a high heat in the beginning, once the tawa is hot enough, cook dosa on a low to medium heat. The tawa is hot. You can check by sprinkling water as you can see it sizzles. Now before spreading the batter, the temperature of the tawa needs to come down. And that's the reason water, cold water is sprinkled. And now bring temperature on a medium and immediately spread dosa batter using a sauce ladle what uh, you would use to serve dal or rasam to spread the batter use the back of ladle and very lightly but evenly smear the batter in circles spreading it outward as thin as possible smear ghee or oil to make dosa more crispier move the pan around to spread oil or ghee If desired, add a little bit of masala on dosa and when it looks brown, you can fold however you like. In Chota Bazaar, it is given like in a triangle shape, like so. Look at the color of dosa beautiful shape bring on to the serving plate here i have dosa serve with coconut chutney sambar if you have some time you can prepare sambar and chutney but you can just simply serve with this sabji the masala as well and more masala in another plate as you can see masala has become a little thicker so here I have my complete chota bazaar dosa ready to serve if you want to keep dosa crispy do not spread uh, masala on Dosa. I hope you can hear the crunch. The side is crunchy and mm, so much satisfying. If desired, squeeze a little bit of a lemon or lime juice in bhaji. For this recipe, I love to prepare mushroom dal sambar. And let me show you how to make it. I'm taking one cup of masoor dal. If desired, tuwar or chana dal can be mixed with masoor dal as well. Wash dal really well until water runs clear and if time permits, soak dal a couple of hours to cook fast. When the dal is soaked well, ready to boil and I'm using pressure cooker. Take water into the pressure cooker pot. About one and a half cups of water and using the pot in pot method the dal pot inside the pressure cooker pot add salt cover and with dal i'm also going to steam vegetables that i'm going to use in sambar so here i have carrot gajar and green beans Drumstick can be used as well, but since I don't have the drumstick, I'm using 
green beans so vegetables can be your choice turn on the heat on a medium to high lock the pressure cooker put the whistle on here three whistles for soaked dal or else about five if the dal is not so carefully open the cooker remove the vegetables and keep aside using the ladle spoon beat the dal or you can use the electronic hand blender or manual hand blender but if the dal is boiled well you won't need anything just stir and it will be nice and smooth like so heat up the oil on a medium to high heat add dry whole red chilies when the oil is hot add fenugreek seeds methi mustard seeds and let them crack right keep the heat on a medium to high heat while the mustard seeds crack add curry leaves and keep the lid handy if it splatters you have to be ready and I'm going to add the same water from the boiling dal and bring water to boil add turmeric powder haldi haldi can be added while boiling the dal sambar garam masala if you are using the raw vegetables you can saute the vegetables first and cook properly until they are little soft tamarind paste this is actually tamarind puree a ground coriander cumin dhania jeera the sambar masala has everything in it but if you like little bit uh, spicy sambar you can add uh, other spices cover and cover half open so that it doesn't overflow and let it boil you can add water as much or as little as you want depending on the consistency of the sampar you want so I'm going to bring this to boil now all right when the sampar comes to the boil add the pre-boiled dal look at the color of the sambar I simply love it and I'm going to dump all the dals in it to adjust the consistency I prefer to add boiling water now again bring this to boil when I prepare this sambar for a spring dosa I also add potato along with carrot and green beans when the sambar comes to rolling boil add vegetables and simmer for a couple of more minutes and the sambar is ready let me show you my quick version of making coconut chutney Into the blender cup, take coconut, ginger, garlic, green chili. Garlic is optional. Roasted chana dal, salt to taste, and coconut milk. Or just simply use a tablespoon of plain yogurt. Dahi, ready to blend. Take out into the chutney serving tray. Heat up about a tablespoon of oil into the small wok. Add dry whole red chilies. When the oil is hot enough, add mustard seeds, rye, 
एंड पूरा दाल कवर टू प्रिवेंट द मैस टर्न ऑफ द स्टोव एंड एड करी लीव सो द तड़का इज रेडी टेम्परिंग फॉर द टेम्परिंग तड़का ऑन टॉप ऑफ द चटनी एंड द कोकोनट चटनी इज रेडी टू सर्व Now here is the bonus recipe of how to make quick version of bhaji curry using one pressure cooker pot. Take half cup of dry green peas mattered. Wash green peas really well and soak for about 4 hours. To prepare the curry, take soaked green peas, right soaked as you can see they are swollen to double almost. पटेरो आलू अनियन टमेटो जिंजर गार्लिक एंड ग्रीन चिली रेड चिली पाउडर टर्मरिक पाउडर हल्दी सॉल्ट टू टेस्ट एड अबाउट अ कप ऑफ वाटर फॉर हाफ कप ऑफ ग्रीन पीस Give this all a really good stir. Be sure to have enough water to boil green peas. Cover it. And here about five to seven whistles. When the pressure cooker has cooled naturally, release the pressure and open the cooker carefully. Give it a good stir. As you can see. Green peas mutter is cooked really well and to adjust the consistency mash the potatoes so the dosa bhaji is ready and this is the fastest way to prepare the bhaji masala I hope you enjoyed watching this video chota bazaar style dosa please do like and comment below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for new recipe videos every week You can also visit my website baunaskitchen.com for new recipe tips tricks and ideas in the kitchen. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Pinar is Baunas Kitchen is everywhere. Also, don't forget to download Baunas Kitchen apps totally free. You can enjoy on your iOS, Android and many other mobile devices. You can also watch me on a big TV screen using Roku, Amazon Fire or using YouTube channel. Thanks for watching and see you soon.